Modern architecture is the invention of the West. Chinese architecture has evolved into a mature structure until、uh, Western modern architecture come into China, and it's very difficult for Chinese to digest what is the, the new language and how this new language can be somehow combined with our contemporary life. And I think this is a very important task for Chinese architects to put more reflective thinking on how contemporary life, contemporary conditions. Can be embedded into design process. This building, for instance, is a, is a little experiment of how I see architecture, contemporary architecture, can live harmoniously with this environment, beautiful environment outside, with water, with mountain, with trees, with nature in 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 totality. So people approach the building, experience the building, is in a very harmonious relationships. Instead of looking at the object standing off the middle of the nowhere, but rather this building is kind of integrated. Enhance environments after the building is built. Things we have no power supply so far, so we have to rely on natural resource, sunlight. That's why the whole building is somehow glazed totally. So we have to adjust the temperature through the use of material on the skin, and also the way the entrance is sited. The twigs are from the surrounding mountains, and the reason of using twigs are multifunctional. The first thing is not decorational; they are supposed to filter in the lights for the library interior space to create this kind of ambience for people to read, the inward-looking kind of a、uh, ambience, and not to allow too much light in. We didn't treat anything、uh, with the、uh, with the material, so it's totally natural. Maybe in the future, well, when we sit inside the library, we see birds on the facade, and things can grow from there. So it's, it can really join the process of natural evolution. In、uh, installation, I designed for Royal Academy of Arts. I used a very particular material, the twigs. Again, that is similar with the material I used in the library, but the perspective is different. The idea of using twigs is to create kind of a defamiliarized environment that is so different, so much in contrast with London, as a texture of、uh, stone, concrete, and saltiness. But here, the material is natural. So my installation of a puzzle and a Zen garden actually is based on the understanding of this process of contrast, of layering. So in my design, you don't know where you are. You're lost in the forest. And then you try to look for the direction, your orientation, and in the end of it, you arrive at a Zen garden, which is a totality of an open space. Then you understand what is possible, what is the blindness, what is be able to see. So this is the, the process. Actually, helps you to understand the texture, the compressed space, the expanded space. There's a fundamental difference between the Chinese look at space and the Westerner look at space. The reason behind this is the philosophy behind the two cultures are totally different. Where in the Western philosophy, the subject and object are totally differentiated. So the subject look at the object from the perspective point of view. In Chinese philosophy, subject and object are never separated. That's why space is experienced from within instead of looking at from afar. According to Laozi's philosophy, what is contained is more important than the container. In Chinese、uh, history, architecture has never been focused on the form of the architecture, but rather how a particular courtyard, 
a particular environment is shaped based on the architecture as a container. We believe that human beings are part of nature, part of the environment. We are not supposed to be separate from nature, from the environment. So living together harmoniously with nature is our idea. Less consuming energy, less consuming our resource. I think this is part of the uh, lessons that we could learn from the Chinese tradition. We have millions and millions of sensory spots on our body. So actually it's not just a, a look at things, but rather how can you experience through your sensory systems, through, your, through the sounds, through the smiles, and through the qi, as in Chinese saying it, is more like an energy flow of a space. So if you develop your sensory system nicely, actually you can experience totally different things. But as we grow up, we are told to look at things in this way and that way. Somehow, gradually, we actually uh, make our sensory system less sensitive. So the idea is if we can enrich or make it stronger of the sensory system, we can actually improve the way we experience space.